Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll take a look at simulation in SolarWorks again, and this time we'll be looking at uh, an I beam structure. So we've got two fixed ends on this face and over on the other face. And what we've got is also four bolts that will be pushing the lower part of the I-beam downwards. And I have generated a split face to mimic um, the bolt pushing down to the washer and these force being evenly distributed as a pressure uh, through the washer surface that is touching with the I-beam. So the pressure that I've used here will, is 500 Newton per meter square. So I've just generated a curvature base mesh. And I have not applied any mesh control to it. But what we want to look at today is to look at um, how we can interpret the results from our simulation study. So I've already ran this simulation. Simulation settings has actually got a different uh, setting directory. So instead of going for options up here, we'll go into the simulation tab, then select options. In here we can change uh, a fair few stuff, but most importantly is uh, what's in the default options. So here we can change units, uh, change our unit system as well as modified, say for example, the pressure to be shown as PSI instead of Newton per meter square. We can also show the maximum value uh, as an annotation when we go and select plots. You can see this annotation and range section, we can always uh, specify so that it shows the maximum value or minimum value in all of the plots that is outputted. We can also add additional plots uh, to our range of studies. So for example in our static studies we've got three separate plots. Um, once our von Mises stress, resultant displacement and of course strain. So to add, a add an additional plot, simply right click onto our study and click add new plot. So what that does is that every time you run a study, these few plots will be defined, predefined already uh, and you won't have to add them in manually. So if you always like to get a plot, uh, for example, for factor of safety, you can do that. We can also specify where the results data are stored uh, and at the moment, I have it set up such that the results data will always be saved within uh, where the file is located. Let's take a look at the results. So let's take a look at plot one, which is our stress result. We've got our von Mises stress. We can edit the plot option after we've ran the study uh, just by right clicking onto the plot and select edit definition. And here we can change the units, uh, but just be mindful that whatever you did in uh, the simulation options uh, here, that will be the default units, uh, but to change it again, uh, you can just do it through the stress plot property manager here. We can, in the advanced option, we can show um, our results is tensor plot and can display nodal values or element values. More importantly, we can change our uh, the scale of our deformation. In chart options, here we can enable um, to show the maximum stress uh, or minimum stress in the graphics area. We can also define the maximum value um, over here and what it does is that 
any values that are that goes beyond say five hundred. Legend has been updated now. We can spec also specify a different color to show the all the values that have gone over five hundred newton per meter squared. We also have the option to set it such that um, the maximum value is the yield strength. At our at this case, it doesn't matter too much because our maximum stress doesn't actually go over the yield strength. But this is useful in structures where it is the stress you're experiencing stress above the yield strength, such that uh, you need to identify these locations. You can set that as the maximum value and assign a different color for these affected areas. Further down the bottom you can also change the number format as well as the number of decimal places that is shown uh, on the plot. And over in displacements plot and um, strain plot you will have similar uh, settings available to you. To add a new plot, simply right click onto the results folder, define the category, and specify your units and so on later. Thanks for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.